If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Coach's Corner, Coach John Limbaugh, presented by Lori Darlings. And Coach, how did you weather the storm, sir? Well, it was uh, pretty tough. We uh, had one building get uh, torn up at the house and uh, a lot of fences uh, down because of trees on them and things like that. But uh, we're weathering it. Uh, I actually went this morning and uh, filled up my generator and uh, my mother-in-law's generator. She had some damage to her house and she we're both still without power, but we're, we're here and God's blessed. We're, we're all good. <laughs> You know, we, we smile and joke about it, but yeah. what else can you do, right? That's all you can do. In the middle of a uh, pandemic and all that we got going on, then we had a couple of hurricanes. What kind and, of 20 year, yeah. 2020 year has this been yeah, for been sure? So you laugh and smile and, and go on. And, and with the schools being out today due to the storm that blew in, uh, overnight uh, on uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Uh, the schools were out yesterday. Schools are out again today. You've got a football game that's scheduled right. for today. How are we working that? Well, we're going to schedule this thing for tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We're going to play tomorrow at 11 o'clock, and, and everybody's on board, and uh, that's really all we can do. You know, you don't play a game when you don't have school. And it's, uh, you know, for safety reasons, the school first and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, there's so many trees down there where those buses are uh, having a hard time getting around. And, and it's always safety first in, in Tyler County. But we're going to play tomorrow at Farm Links Field, 11 o'clock. We're looking forward to welcoming uh, Chillsburg in, going to lay out the red carpet for them, first time ever. Yeah. And we played Chillsburg. We're very excited about it. You know, we want to thank Chillsburg for, because in the infancy of our program, uh, they uh, allowed our school to play. I remember uh, that. Yeah, John Cox Stadium. They yeah. played there for several years, mm -hmm. I understand. And, and, but uh, we want to usher them in tonight and, and, and let them, uh, excuse me, uh, tomorrow, and let them know how great it is to have them come in and play a ball game. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very emotional time for people, you know, mm -hmm. with, this, with this storm coming through and a lot of uneasiness and people without power and, and, right. and all that kind of stuff. And, and you're going to play a football game tomorrow. Uh, I guess kids rebound quicker than us older folks, right? Well, they do. But the thing about football is the one thing that makes sense, right? <laughs> so when the world's in chaos, we can, we can sit down and play a football game and kind of relax a little bit and, and uh, have a good time, watch the kids compete. And that's what it's all about. But kids are, are resilient. You know, we uh, uh, lost a tough game last week against Ramburn. And uh, once again, my kids came back Monday, ready to go. It is truly amazing. And and uh, we, we had that game, and uh, uh, they uh, kept fighting, and, and we kept fighting, and but uh, didn't come out on top of it. But we played a lot better, did some things really, really well. I uh, just left a couple of things short, but uh, we're looking forward to Chillsburg Saturday. No doubt about it. Now, Chillsburg has played a Saturday game already. I think they played mm -hmm. Dadeville uh, several weeks ago on a Saturday. Yeah. But uh, this game will be Saturday morning at Farm Links Field. Uh, in Fayetteville, Alabama. Talk about the game last week and what went right and what didn't go right. Well, we uh, uh, did a good job of moving the football. We really did. Uh, got down there a couple of times and, and you know dropped a couple of balls. And, and uh, we had a penalty right before the half that hurt us and then got a ball over the top. And, and we had defenders there. And just sometimes that ball would slip through the smallest of cracks. And, it, oh, yeah. uh, and they scored with just seconds before the, the half ended. And that, that uh, hurt us a little bit. Uh, we came back, of course, uh, uh, went ahead, took the lead, and, and did some uh, great things in the, in the second half, but just not quite enough to overcome. Uh, I thought our defense played, played well. There was a couple times we, we should have got off the field, but we, we didn't. Uh, but uh, that coming up short is my responsibility, mm -hmm. and we're going to continue to work on that. And uh, greatest group of seniors, they're, they're all awesome kids and, and really appreciate their effort uh, so much and what they've accomplished this year. In the midst of this COVID, it's truly been amazing, Jim. It really has. But I'm looking forward to uh, the off season and, and, and getting things going with these these younger kids. We are, we're a young group, but I look forward to next season. It's very promising. No doubt about it. Uh, it's been a disappointing year as far as uh, wins and losses are right. concerned. You thought it would be a yeah. lot better than it is. We got one more game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's against Childersburg, and Childersburg has really had some of the same issues that that Fayetteville has had. Well, they have. But Johnny Johnson's a, a magnificent person and. Great football coach. He's going to do a great job there for years to come. They're young, uh, like we are. Uh, they're young on the on the offensive and defensive line, mm -hmm. but they're, those guys are going to mature. That's one thing. When you got youngins, they mature and they get older. So they're going. The children's birds are going to be just fine, and it'll be all we can do to uh, secure a, a win at home. Talk a little bit about uh, this season itself. Uh, 
you know, none of us anticipated we'd be where we are now with right. this COVID stuff. And uh, I did note where uh, B.B. Comer's opponent for next week, first round of the playoffs, they're dealing with COVID. That uh, St. Mm. Uh, St. John, uh, St. Luke's, <clears throat> and uh, mm. they had to cancel their game, but regular season game was scheduled for tonight. They canceled that because mm. of COVID, and so it could affect them next week. And so when we started this thing, we all talked about, and you right. included, you talked about this could be the last game of the season for us, and this is tomorrow, but we said that every week. That's right, and we're just blessed that our kids were able to play. Now, I'll tell you something about this year. It's been a disappointment in a lot of respects, and, and, and that's my responsibility, my fault, but the thing about it is we've lost several games by one score. Mm -hmm. We are so close to winning these ball games, it's unbelievable. And the other guys are trying to win as well. And we play, I think, in the hardest uh, uh, division in, in 2A football. I believe we're in the SEC West as far as that <laughs> goes. And these, these teams are doggone good. And, and uh, we're in the county really proud of Bibi Comer, what they're accomplishing. And they're in our region now. Yeah. And they're doing great things. And 8-1, like you said, and, and that COVID will uh, uh, play you out during the playoffs. We'll see teams that had to forfeit during the playoffs. Mm -hmm. and how awful is that? But I'm, I'm very uh, proud of our kids in that this year <clears throat> was like no other, and, and they faced it with dignity and character. I had a, Jimmy had an official uh, that came up uh, two weeks ago at a JV game at our place. He had called the previous uh, a football game mm -hmm. and a varsity game and he he said coach I just want to tell you uh, how awesome it was to call this ball game your kids play with such integrity and, and such dignity and of, of character and I just want to tell you I really appreciate that and even one of your managers which was Jackson Barrett even one of you little managers came up to me and said you called a good game he said you don't see that kind of sportsmanship often in it you know Jimmy that's what a yeah. lot of this is about Raising young men to become uh, uh, great citizens of this country and, and uh, good fathers and good husbands. And, and, uh, and when a coach hears that, it just makes you swell with pride. And uh, Coach Limbaugh talks about these kids. And it's, it's, uh, this is a class that they're taking for life that's coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Absolutely. They, they, have, they have fought the worst of it in fighting this COVID. And uh, the un unexpected uh, Fridays. You know, we had one that were, was canceled for us because Victor Christian couldn't play due to COVID. Mm -hmm. And that's the only game we've had canceled this year. And, uh, you, you know, knock on knock on wood that we get to play tomorrow. But uh, I hope hopefully we'll get that thing off and, and complete the season and, and hopefully end it on a good note with a victory. And but let's it, talk about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 11 o'clock uh, kickoff, right. which is unusual to say the least for a high school <laughs> uh, game on a Saturday morning. But you expect your team to bring its best. Absolutely. They're going to bring their best just like they always do. They're going to play hard. And, and uh, they're so excited. I had so many kids texting me from the team. Coach, we're going to be able to play. Coach, is it okay? <laughs> you know, they, they're wanting to play this game yeah. pretty pretty badly. So, uh, you know, I expect our kids to show up and be uh, ready to go. And, and it's going to be a good game. Yes, it's, a, it's an early start. And, and I know people want to watch college football and things like that. But we want to get this game in because to us, this is the mo most important game in the, yeah. in, in the country. Yeah. Now, uh, before we go this morning, uh, this is uh, 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 on a different note. Mm. Uh there's people watching this morning mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, they're they're struggling with this uh, storm situation, and, and storms come in life. Right. They you do. know, whether it's a physical storm like this, uh, where we see uh, winds uh, 65 miles an hour knocking out power, mm -hmm. uh, you're talking about families that, that are on edge this morning because they don't have power or just getting power back, and really, uh, they don't know what to do. What do we do as believers when we face something like this? Well, the disciples were on the sea with Christ at one time. It's a great story in the Bible. And and uh, they were afraid. And they said, Lord, don't you even care that we're going to die? The Bible tells us he was asleep mm -hmm. in, the, in the boat. And, and uh, he woke up and he said, ye have little faith. And he stood in that boat and he said, peace be still. And the wind ceased and the waves calmed. And the disciples said, who is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? And we have to remember, He is the same power today. He can say to our life, peace be still. And uh, He is a master. He is Lord. He is Savior. And uh, He is over all of creation. And, and God can do whatever God wants to do. So when times get tough, when we're going through COVID, when we're going through uh, uh, difficult circumstances and things like tropical storms and hurricanes and all this, 
when life does hit us hard, turn to that one that does mm -hmm. still storms. Yeah. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever, and He cares for us. You know, I was thinking about what you were talking about, and, and uh, you know, the disciples, the Lord said to them, Oh, you have little faith. Mm -hmm. You know, they were struggling. Right. They, were, they, were they thought they were going to die. Yeah, that's right. And, and Jesus overlooked that, even mm -hmm. though He saw the frailty of them and said, Hey, I'm going to show you my power. Absolutely. And He did. And He'll show us too. Absolutely. All right. All right. Coach, thanks for being with us. Good luck tomorrow. Final game of the season, uh, Childersburg traveling to Fayetteville, Farm Lakes Field. The Fayetteville Wolves uh, rounding out their season tomorrow. And Coach, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming this morning. Pleasure. God bless you, Jimmy. More day break coming up right after this.